I'm at my desk, and the desk is a surface, okay? And I start putting pages down on the desk. I'm tiling them on the desk. And then I run out of room. I have exhausted the two dimensions of the surface of my desk. We have ways of accommodating this problem. And so we have page organizers that go upwards. So now when I don't have any more surface area, area of the desk, I can enter a third dimension and put pages there. If you are an ant embedded in this two-dimensional world of the surface of my desk, and you fill up the desk with these sheets of paper, the ant will say, there is no more room. And I say, yes, there is. Watch me. And I take a piece of paper off the desk, put it in the page organizer, and according to the ant that's embedded in the two dimensions, that page disappeared. It disappeared into a dimension that ant does not have access to. What a brilliant invention this is. You can put practically an unlimited number of pages, far more pages above the desk than on the desk. So access to a third dimension is an extraordinarily useful storage device. Watch what happens next. I now have my three-dimensional room and I'm filling it with boxes. Now I've run out of space to put the boxes. But now an alien, a four-dimensional alien looks at us and says, I got this. Just move it into the fourth dimension. What are you talking about? And the alien comes in, reaches in, takes one of the boxes, and then the box disappears. Disappears. It went into a fourth dimension. So imagine a new storage system where you just go to, to Home Depot and buy a door. And that door is your portal to a fourth dimension. You open the door, put your boxes, close the door, and you look on the other side of the door, there's nothing there. So this is what's going on when you have access to higher dimensions. Now, there are things that happen in quantum physics that kind of defy our sensibilities. Like particles pop in and out of existence. They, don't, they, they defy any rational attempt to understand it. Particles can be entangled with one another. A particle can be here and there's a barrier and it can spontaneously show up on the other side of the barrier at faster than the speed of light. All of this is just mysterious. So who is to say that some of the mysterious things we are describing accurately but don't otherwise make sense, make sense in a higher dimension. And these are just the manifestations of higher dimensional phenomena in our world. And that's an aspect of what these higher dimensional physicists are trying to establish.